In that Grampian uh, 30 that I've been showing you folks and uh, today will probably be the last day I'm in here now I've got uh, got a little bit of taping to do which is how these boards were originally fastened into the in along here so that means I'm gonna have to sand that area uh, in order to prepare for putting the tape in and then the tape will go in afterward now uh, the tape is actually fiberglass cloth they call it tape but it isn't really tape it's just cloth and it is right here. So it's a roll of six inch cloth that'll overlap three inches onto the, the new floor and three inches onto the old. And it'll tie the two together so you're not dropping uh, stuff down into the bilge that you can't get access to. Um, again, I want to reiterate that it's a fairly simple job that I've done with you know very basic tools. So uh, if you are about to take on a project uh, in a boat, um, they can look very daunting, and in fact, some of them are very daunting. I mean, let's not fool ourselves. There can be massive jobs, and, and there's safety issues too. But cosmetic things aren't that big a deal, and you can generally get the boat up and going. This is a good sound boat. It's just had a big renovation. So I put everything back there so it doesn't get dirty for sanding, and I'll seal things up a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're gonna away we go. The floor is looking good. I've got hatches. If you look here, I've got hatches that I can open up. See? Now they'll be painted. And uh, by painting it, they'll be sealed up from the weather. They're painted on the back side already. So, except for the hatch. That'll have to be painted completely. Anyway, we're uh, one step closer to completing this project and uh, today will be the big day and I'll get things rolling here and uh, you can come along. Back at the marina again today. Uh, I just wanted to check on that uh, that floor finally because I just finished it off and want to make sure that it's all going to be good. So 
Let's go check that out before we uh, get to work on Windover. I gotta say, these floors look pretty good. Just needs a little lick of paint now and we'll be uh, ready to splash her. But this tabbing doesn't really do anything much more than just seal up this joint so you don't lose any chains down there or tools or anything like that. It's not structural at all. It will need to be sanded just to get little barbs and stuff off of it, but that should only take a minute or so. And uh, yeah, very happy with this. I do see one area here, right in here. This is going to take a lot of traffic, and this board here is, you can see how it's sort of sagging a little bit there. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of, a little wedge under here, uh, just to support this so it doesn't crack this uh, this tabbing but uh, basically that's that's it so you got good access to everything just a light sanding and a bit of paint and Bob's your uncle hi um, for those of you that have follow our um, YouTube channel you know that I use a Barracuda sewing machine and it is an industrial portable sewing machine and I really like it. Um, we, when we bought the Barracuda, I bought it used, got a good price on it. But prior to that, we had talked about buying a Sailrite. And if, um, I mean, most sailors know what a Sailrite sewing machine is. So we did get in contact with them and they offered us a great deal. But the stipulation was that we would do a comparison between that and our Barracuda. And uh, I agreed to do that. So I am looking forward to trying the sail right out. I'm going to do a project. I'm going to do the cockpit cushions for our sailboat. And um, anyway, so if you wait just a moment, you can view the new sewing machine. There you go. And so, I mean, you've literally been talking about doing this for years, eh? Well, I have. And I mean, we all, we've all heard the reviews on a sail right. I mean, who has it as a sailor? Mm. Very, um, very um, well-known sewing machine, well sought after. And for years, we actually looked for a used Sailrite sewing machine, and you just cannot find them. No. And if they come up, they're gone. Like, they'll be gone as soon as they come up because people love them, and they probably just keep going and going. Yeah. So um, we were unable to find a used Sailrite, so we contacted the company and asked them... Um, you know, we just talked to them and they offered us a good deal. Yeah. Again, for an exchange that we compare this to our Barracuda. And again, I will be definitely um, fair when I do that. Yeah. So this is my little picture hanging hammer. <laughs> you could be a carpenter, huh? There we go. There we go. Just like Christmas. Yeah. And I have to say, you know, right after... Uh, oh, look. There's two of them. No, just kidding. Yeah. Right after we uh, made the commitment with them, I immediately got an email, and it said, Welcome to the, the family. Yeah. And uh, they offered uh, some videos with tips on getting started with your new sale right. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So already we're pretty impressed with it. Yes, and um, if you don't know Sailrite too, they have a lot of videos that are actually on YouTube and they're free for people to watch and they're learning videos on how to make Dodgers, how to make Biminis, how to cover cushions, yeah. how to do any sewing jobs actually that uh, revolve around boats. Yeah. And um, they're quite self-explanatory. People love, um, they learn a lot from them. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. I should say Deb's just back from work. From a 12 hour shift. <laughs> so the poor deer's got to dig into this already. But we've Which been looking I forward to this to for a while. I did get to work in the gardens today at work. Yeah. And uh, to be paid to work in the gardens, well, there's no life like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't think of anything better to be paid to garden. Yeah. But I am a little pooch, that's why I had to have a glass of wine just to unwind. 
Okay. So that's um, just the box? This is the box. But I may have to get you to lift it out because it's almost a little too high for me. Um, okay. Sure, I can help you. Or I'll hold the box. It's heavy, eh? Oh, it's stuck in there. Oh, got it. Ooh. Here, if you set it right here. It's got rubber feet on it, eh? This is the uh, box. You know what? This is, um, okay. This isn't just cardboard, eh? No, actually it's not, and I don't see how to get into it. This was one of my biggest you, concerns. You flip these down. Uh, I know. And this was one of my biggest concerns was uh, how, um, how the uh, box was going to lock down. And this is very substantial. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty. Well, watch the um. You're gonna scratch the um okay, the table. Yeah. Sorry. There. So that locks in there like that. Look at that. Okay. 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 So those must be the accessories. Yeah, and this is. I wonder for weight what the comparison is for. Oh my gosh! Well, let me uh, let me do that for you. Why don't you film? See, that will not be. Um, if that is the weight is, to me, the heavier is not necessarily the better machine. Yeah. No, I mean obviously we will discuss that, but no, not if I have to lug it around, right? Because I mean they yeah. are portable for a reason. Yeah. And the sail right, and I mean this is not. This seems really heavy. That's not including the case, right? You think it's heavier than the Barracuda? I am thinking it feels much heavier than the Barracuda. Oh, we'll have to weigh them. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay you want me to lift that I out do, then? I for sure, Here. yes. Okay. Here, why don't you take this? Okay. Okay. It's oh, heavy, it's a, eh? It's just awkward because it's in a box. Is that what it was? Yeah, I think it's. I think okay. the weight is very comparable to it. Well, we'll see. Okay. Yep. Hey. I think I may have hit another staple there. Yeah, all the boxes are staple shut. It certainly came in a solid case. I mean, if you're concerned about getting it shipped, it arrived well packaged, like really well packaged. It did in the box actually was um didn't look like it had any bangs on it. No, nope, no. Nope. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to just turn it on its side and pull it up. Okay. 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 Get the finger in there. Okay, pull. Just a second. It's a bit of an angle you're pulling at, so I'm getting a little bit of uh, sticking a little bit. There we go. Okay. It might be upside down now. Well, that's the wheel. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay. And look at this. This means that they've um, they built this sewing machine and they've tested it. And then this is... Um, this is their test zigzag straight stitch. See this? Wow. That's on a double piece of canvas. So, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. And this is on a, well, this is four, eight, wait, four and eight. That's eight. That's eight layers of canvas. And they've um, tested it on that as well. Mm. Zigzag and straight stitch. Wow, that's what is that? I'm into a bag or something. I don't want to cut anything. Mm -hmm. Just packaging. Eh? Matt. Yeah, they actually said to me. Um, they sent me an email and they said we're building your machine right now. So there's, there's a staff person who tests them. 
the signs off on them. It's a very personalized kind of thing. Eh? Hi, I'm Matt Grant with Sailrite, and I want to personally thank you for the purchase of your new Sailrite Open sewing machine. This video walks you through setup, sewing, and even advanced maintenance. just had it I think our issue is that we've got it. it's um yeah thank you it's set on this uh, piece of foam and it's just kind of I paused the video for a little while here uh, just so we could get it mounted we watched the uh, the sail right explanation on how to do it can you show them how it tilts in the box here to yeah there's a little um a little doohickey here mm -hmm. and then you push it back okay and that's so then for, this way probably for oily and, for oily, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was a little tricky to get it on that on the pins there but the two of us uh, managed to do it without getting a divorce it was, uh, it was pretty close. simple <laughs> <It was close. laughs> before they ship these they really coat them in a lot of oil and um, I've had with my Barracuda um, it runs really good and um, I do oil the kajibers out of it. Every time I use it, I put a bit of oil on it. Mm -hmm. And um, well, every time I use it, if I'm doing a significant job. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, they really just love to be oiled. Yeah. So, um, but this one, it ha it's it's quite oily when you get it. So watch it if you're pulling it out of the box that you don't, it doesn't it's slip out of your folder. hands because yeah. it's quite oily. Okay. That's very cool. Okay. So, um, you want to watch the video and see what we should do next? Yeah, it'll be the flywheel. So. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Back to the video. And I want to wash my hands before I, I get oil on the belt. Too, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Back to the video. So, experience so far? Well, it's fun that we get to put it together because you get to know how your machine works, right? I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. the parts. So. The video is really handy, though. Eh? Like, oh yeah, well, I, they're they're very um, they're well known for their uh, their videos. Yeah. yeah. So this is the box of accessories, right? Eh? Oh shoot! It's gonna be recycling day. Oh, this will be the light. This week. It is a catalog. It's yeah. really thick. I can't wait to look at that. That'll be fun. So you, you want to explain what that is? Because that, that's a big deal, actually, with these guys. Um, yeah, Sailrite mm -hmm. um, sells fabric, um, sells um, all kinds of fabrics. And uh, this is their catalog. And probably um, they sell other types of sewing machines. And they sell um, larger industrial sewing machines. Now, so. those of you who know Deb know she's going to dig into that catalog. Oh my gosh, and this is um, this is just a book that tells you, shows you pictures of how your sewing machine... Nicely done, eh? Yep. Yes, I'll definitely... So we've got it all assembled. So now I'm going to sew with it. Yeah. Okay. And I want to so just say, but before we get going too deep into it here, that... Yeah. I mean, you've been sewing with that Barracuda for how long? Hmm, three or four years. Three or four years. And... In the video that we just watched, that you you're picking things up. Um, well, I'm not too sure. I'm just going to try some things out. I may have been, um, I may have been um, threading it a little differently. Yeah. Like usually here, I would go through all three of the holes, and I'd go down and up and through. 
so this mm -hmm. they only loop it but and sometimes i do have a little problems with um attention you know sometimes mm -hmm. and that could be an issue mm -hmm. so um i'll apply some of these things to um when i do the barracuda and i'll mm -hmm. we'll do the comparison side by side just for tonight just for the unboxing yeah uh, why don't we see if it works and then uh and then we'll um We'll bring people on board when we start doing a project with it again. Yeah, you know what? This is, um... um thank you for um, coming along with us while we unbox the sale right and stay tuned for the comparison between this and my Barracuda. See you then. Yeah. You're gonna whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so let me um okay. Let me just stop it for a second. Talk to me.